Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans all around the world, let's talk some boxing. So, I got a bunch of things to talk about, but we'll first get down to some of the stuff that's news. So, we know for a fact that Jared Hurd is not facing J-Rock. Alright, J-Rock had to propose, they had Vada testing, and all of a sudden after that, hearing Jared Hurd saying that, uh, you know, he might be too big for the weight class, may have to move up in weight. Got rid of his former trainer. Said he's gonna have to hold off on facing J Rock. So that's very interesting, if you ask me. It is what it is. So J Rock looks like he's gonna be facing Eric Sandy Lara, the WBA regular champion, uh, in what will be about where Eric Sandy Lara gets the opportunity. He had said at the end of the fight with Alvarez that he wanted to face um, one of those guys, J Rock, or another one of the champions out there, Harrison. And he was talking about Canelo, you know. So, uh, it looks like he will get that opportunity to face J-Rock, which is cool. Uh, slick, uh, Southpaw, uh, being world champion before, so he'll get an opportunity to be a two-time world champion. So we'll see how that works out with Lara versus J-Rock. See if J-Rock got the skills, I don't think he does, to beat an Aris Lady Lara, but we'll see. Talking about some more news in boxing. So we gotta get ourselves up to date with the news that's going on out here. Uh, possible matchups that are, are possible to happen. First of all, um, before we even talk about possible matchups, let's talk about Anthony Joshua versus uh, Andy Ruiz. So they are in Saudi Arabia. They are training away. We saw the first press conference. You know, Joshua talking about how he's going to punish Ruiz. Ruiz talking about how, you know, he know about Joshua. He know Joshua can come strong, but he intends to keep his titles. Um, good stuff. Uh, Eddie Hearn there down in Saudi Arabia. The guys are training. So it apparently Andy Ruiz can face uh, Anthony Joshua in Saudi Arabia. See what I'm talking about? All right, man. So uh, I, that's why I said when people talk about Eddie Hearn and they're talking about coming down Eddie Hearn, I just laugh because I know Eddie Hearn. He's he a decent promoter. He's a decent promoter. And the people under him basically get their money. So, you know, and he tries to advocate for certain guys. You know, he's trying to advocate for Dillian White. He's trying to advocate for almost all his fighters. But sometimes there's politics outside of Eddie Hearn's match room that he can't make the fights that the fighters want. You know, it is what it is. But he tries his best for his fighters, obviously. Um, the only fighter that I really would like him to step up the, the pace on is Kell Brook. See what's happening with Kell Brook, because Kell Brook's a very good fighter as well. Um, of course, DeGale was a very good fighter. And he didn't push DeGale, you know, it, DeGale had to do everything the hard way. So that was kind of hard. But he, he, you know, he pushes certain fighters, and then certain fighters, again, he doesn't really push as hard. Like, for instance, Demetrius Andre. Eddie Hearn, you should be all over Canelo Alvarez's ass. Showing him why that Sergey Kovalev fight is not worth it's 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 nothing compared to uh, a Demetrius Andre fight, which reminds me, I, I just saw some of you guys. Uh, I don't know who you were in the chat section. One of you guys in the chat section was talking about, well, let Demetrius Andre move up to fuck no. <laughs> He's a middleweight. He never tried. He never made no claim that he was he wanted to go to other divisions and do other things. All right. So so stop the stop the bullshit. Of course, he's always got Billy Joe Saunders he can face. All right, at 168. But the thing about it is, you motherfuckers try to make excuses. Oh, he need to go up and weight class and do this and do. He don't need to do shit, okay? And y'all need to stop with that bullshit talk, okay? He don't need to do shit, all right? He's a WBO champion. Canelo, he's in Canelo's weight class for the second time, all right? And Canelo don't want to face him. That's what that's what it is. Canelo's talking about everybody else. But Demetrius Andre. I heard Oscar De La Hoya with his stupid ass talking about Jaime Munguia versus Jamal Chalo. Please feed him to Jamal Chalo. Please feed him to him. So Jamal Chalo can knock his ass out. All right, feed him. You know, because, you see, these people, y'all need to understand. Y'all need to understand. Right? It's not that I'm in favor of black people. You know where I am. You know where I am. I'm about the truth. Okay? And I don't bullshit around. Okay? And y'all know Sergey Kovalev fight. They know the Sergey Kovalev fight is tailor-made for fucking Canelo. All the bullshit y'all talking about, oh, I don't know about that, is because you want Canelo to duck these guys. You're making excuses so he can duck these fighters. All right? I, on the other hand, I'm a true Canelo fan. I'm a true Canelo fan. Y'all are not true Canelo fans. Y'all want Canelo to get beat. Because if Canelo is not tested by these guys, if he does not step up to the plate, right, and beat these guys, he can't face other tough competition, tough competitions like the Govordics, like the Bivols out there. Because y'all 
Y'all make excuses for your fighters. You don't let them grow as fighters. You don't let them be tested as fighters. You see? And Demetrius Andrade is a winnable fight for Canelo. Okay? It is a winnable fight for Canelo. But y'all so stupid. Y'all fight fans fuck up fighters if they listen to you. Y'all so stupid. Y'all make excuses for a fighter. So they wouldn't develop and become better. You look at Floyd Mayweather's career, all the bullshit these fucking ass uh, fans talk about with, uh, with Floyd Mayweather, you know, the truth be told, Floyd faced the very best. The very best. Okay? He didn't face the worst, he faced the best. But when it comes to you guys, you prefer to see a guy face a faded fighter. Y'all seen Sergey Kovalev get his ass knocked out. Y'all seen Sergey Kovalev, he had problems to the body. Everybody know that. Everybody know that. Okay? So, he already, everybody know, once I can get to the body, which Canelo can and will. Once I get to the body, I don't even need to, he could be beating my ass for 12 rounds, for eight, 11 rounds. I get to him in the 12th, he's done. He baked, he can't take it to the body. Okay? And y'all just for the life of you can't see that. Right? Because you're blinded by your fandom. Right? This is a straight, this is straightforward. This is not, this is not, this is not complicated. This is simple boxing 101. Alright? And the fact that you guys can't even see that. I'm gonna be surprised if Canelo stopped Demetrius, um, stop um um um, um Sergey Kovalev. I'm gonna be surprised. Nothing surprising about that. Not one damn thing. It's not worth my time to go see. It's not my, worth my time to go see. But if if you're talking about Dmitry Bivo, are you talking about a a a a Gavordic? Are you talking about the guy that Gavordic's gonna face, Bitter BF? It's a totally different story. That's a totally different story. Those are real lions. Such a couple is the weakest fucking uh, light heavyweight out there. As a champion right now. He the weakest. That's that's what y'all want Canelo to go face? The weakest champion right now? See, that's the thing. I don't understand some of you fanboys. I don't understand y'all. I'm a fan of a fighter, but I don't make excuses for that fucking fighter. You know that. When I talk, I talk facts. I talk real talk. Real talk. I told y'all. Floyd facing Andre Berto, and Floyd facing, uh, 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 the fuck is his name? Conor McGregor? Those are cherry pick fights. It's just what it is. They're cherry pick fights. Not because I'm a Floyd Mayweather Jr. fan, I'm gonna defend that shit. Fuck no. Why can't y'all be the same? God damn it, man. They didn't wanna call me a flomo? Get the fuck out of here.